Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the machine you can see in front of you here which is Criss Cross Cash. It's an old ace six pound token jackpot AWP and specifically I am going to be talking about the Fair Play High Low Gamble Reel which you can see on the left hand side here. Now I think it will be easier to demonstrate this rather than talk about it if you are not familiar with it but just quickly on the left hand side here I have this machine working with the fair play reel as intended and on the right hand side I have modified the reel properties so that we can always see the fair play reel. So I'm just going to put a few quid in here on the left hand side all we need to do to be honest is just get a win that's all that's required we don't know to do anything more than that so there we are now watch here so you see I've got a two and there higher or lower than a two now what has happened behind the scenes is that the machine has already chosen the next number it's like your box on a deal or no deal it's already spun the reel behind the scenes there and what I'm going to do is you know pick higher or lower than a two and what the machine does is show me what it's already picked. So I have revealed a three. Behind the scenes again that high low reel has just spun and it's picked another number. So it's going to be one two or four out to twelve. I'll go with the odds and go higher than a three and now I cannot fail. Doesn't matter what it spins to now. I'm going to get the top repeater, let's have a look, and then no repeat, and I've got my three quid. And it does make a, a little bit of a song and dance about how it will not cheat you, it's fair. It will just pick its number and then it will show you what the number is after you have made your selection of higher or lower. Now, when these machines came out in the early 90s, me and my friends were quite intrigued by them, this idea that there was a high-low gamble which you could always win if you could guess correctly, because we'd always wondered on other machines that didn't have this fair play reel, because this was the first time we'd ever seen it, so it was basically all other fruit machines had a normal high-low reel, and you know how that works, so you've got a three, you go higher and then it spins and you can see it spin to a two and you kind of think well okay if I'd have picked two would it have gone to a two or would it have just picked something else and this this machine to us was intriguing because it's like okay if you pick it correctly it will you will definitely win so like on that three if you think you know what I think it's spun in a two I think it's going to be cheekier and spinning a two or a one I'm going to go lower and it shows you the number and yes if it's gone to a two you will win so we were intrigued by these things and the reason that this has come up again and why it's popped into my head to do this video is that Pook over at his de excellent section of the Desert Island Fruit site posted up a work in progress of his layout for the Globe Trotter machine now this is another old ace six pound jackpot machine and I kind of said there, I'm sure this had the, the fair play high-low reel to start with. And Poop there saying he, he didn't remember the, the, the fair play high-low reel. And I'm like, I'm absolutely convinced there was a, high, a fair play high-low reel on this. So if we look on the video that Pook has made of his work in progress layout for this, when he gets a normal win on the machine, a win on the reel, so he's got... Uh, oh, he nudged away from it there. Why did you do that, Pook? I think, yes, that's better. Right, so you can see there, it's just a normal high-low reel. It shows you the number. You go higher or lower, and then it spins. And what I was saying here is, I am sure this thing had the fair play high-low reel. I remember this thing very, very clearly. And you know those stupid details that you can remember? I remember one of these being in the Sparking Clog in Radcliffe. And this is when we were first talking about this fair play high-low reel. And we did get some confirmation from people who were around at the time that I'm not imagining it. Yeah, there we are. That this machine did start off life with a fair play high-low reel. And We Are City comes in there and says, do you remember we've already had crisscross cash 
released by Ploggy a few years ago, and that featured a functional fair play reel. And I was like, yeah, I do remember that machine, but I've just got it in my head that Globetrotter started out with a fair play high-low reel and then lost it. And that does appear to be the case. So what it seems happened is Ace trialed this fair play high-low reel thing and they kind of pushed it pretty hard because the machines made a fuss about it in attract mode and it was kind of like a selling... You can see it there, it's got a big lamp on it telling you this is my fair play high-low gamble reel. And yet, for some reason, Ace felt the reason to chip it out. I guess they didn't revise the hardware. All that they would have done is... Because obviously there's a functional normal reel behind there. So they will have just changed the software so that it didn't flash that lamp. And also that whatever lamp was controlling the, the sort of mask there or the screen it puts over or whatever was then taken out of the equation and changed the reel so it functioned like a normal high low reel what i got to thinking about was well is, did they do that because players didn't like it or the feedback that they got was poor people were a little bit confused about this it didn't work like a normal high low reel or did they chip it out because it made the machine doable it made the machine emptyable i mean there are comments on a, a on this youtube video that's linked here to uh, there's a circle line video that is linked in this thread where somebody is saying that all you needed to beat the there we are i've got the link there or that all you needed to beat okay, the fair play high low uh, reel was a torch in. that was it if you could if you shine shot a torch into it you could see what was in the fair play reel i mean i can't imagine personally shining a torch into a machine in a pub or an arcade where the hell are you going to get away with that oh just wait a minute hold me drink i need to get me torch out and shine it into the machine i mean christ you'd get your head kicked in or thrown out and barred within about 25 seconds wouldn't you but nonetheless apparently you could defeat the fair play high low reel with a torch i do not know i cannot honestly say whether or not circle line here started off with a fair play high low reel or it didn't however this guy here rag to riches here does state see there the original had an honest number reel and the number was determined before you went high or low a torch did the trick so i will defer to that guy there i'm sure he has a very clear memory of this i don't remember seeing this this machine here circle line with the fair play reel but apparently this had it as well so ace did try this on a few machines and then got rid of it and i personally very very clearly remember playing this globetrotter here with the fair play high low reel but pook is saying here that the roms that he's running in this layout have no mention whatsoever of the fair play high low reel there's nothing comes up on the dot matrix display in a track mode and the high low reel just works like a normal high low reel when you have the feature kind of the point of this then is what i'm going to test here is or try and find out i guess why did ace chip this out why did they change it was it because it was an emptier or was it because players just didn't like it so on the right hand side here i have got a layout where i have removed the lamping effect that allows that fair play high low reel to function correctly you can see the difference between the two machines on the left and right hand side here where sometimes the number is visible on the left hand side but it's always visible on the right hand side and what i'm going to do here is take this machine out to the bank limit see how much it costs me and then just carry on playing and do it again and again and see if I can consistently get this thing out to the bank limit and make a profit or if it just clams up to the extent that it isn't an empty. Because if you think about it, all it really has to do is start costing four or five pounds for a win because obviously I will be able to gamble any win, even a one pound win. And even if it's an absolute arse about it, it shows me a two and then picks a one which on the real machine, yeah, you're going to go higher than the two, and then it reveals a one. I will know to go low for the one. So any win at all, I will be able to gamble out to the three pound repeater, which gives you this money belt thing here, which is a three or six pound repeater. But of course, it doesn't have to repeat. So to control its percentage, I'm saying 
all it needs to do is just start charging between four and five pounds for any win i'll gamble it out to three pounds and then all it has to do is charge between four and five pounds for the next win and it will be able to stay to percentage even though i can't lose a high low gamble i do not know what the answer will be i have deliberately not done a dry run on this because i'm quite curious to find out for myself one of those questions from you know 25 years ago why did ace abandon this concept of the fair play high low gamble because we thought it was pretty cool ace seemed to be fairly invested in it and then next thing you know all the machines have changed and it's just gone back to behaving like a normal high low reel so that's what i'm going to try and answer it's not the most scientific test in the world but it will at least perhaps give us a theory so let's just look at the long-term stats here as you can see this machine is already slightly over percentage it's running at 94.66 percent from a target of 92 percent so it's already slightly over percentage i.e we owe the machine money but that's not a bad starting point because it means it's not stupid happy right out of the gate should also by the way give credit to the layout creator for this this layout was released by ploggy in february of 2012 it's one of his 1600 dx's and as you would expect from ploggy's work it absolutely holds up today this this layout is over six years old and it still looks great so of course thank you to ploggy for making this layout all these years ago because it's of course the layout that i'll be using for this video so let's get to current session stats so there we are see that i've got zero in and zero out Let's put a fiver in and see what happens. Remember that this machine is already running a little bit behind. It, we already owe it a few quid, so I'm not expecting it to be overly generous right out of the gate. But of course, any win that we get, we have the knowledge that any win that we get, we can immediately gamble up to the £3 repeater. But, I mean, I remember that these aces, back in the day, these, these, things, <laughs> these things could charge five, six, seven pounds for a win just on, on a kind of normal cycle. So, I don't think that this machine is going to have... And if I'm nailing me colours to the mast here, by the way, I don't think this is going to... Oh, there we are. So, that's uh, the, the, this equivalent of, of watch for my hidden treasures. Do you want to know a secret? So, we'll hold that. And, of course, we cannot now fail to gamble... There we are. So I know that I need to go higher than the 8 to an 11 because I can see what the number is. Now on the real machine, of course, what happens is that reel darkens and you can't. So it would then show us the number. Now the reel would go dark again. It would spin and then we have to guess. But of course, I know that I've got a 1 in there. So yeah, where was I? I don't think... I don't think this is going to be an emptier because I think that this machine will be able to control its percentage simply by being so mean with wins that because it, it can choose when to give us a, oh there we are it can choose when to give us a win or not give us a win and it can just simply say okay you know what fuck you it's going to cost you a fiver for every three pounds it's as simple as that it's not like now there's a nasty one because <laughs> of course in the wild remember you don't know what's in there higher or lower than a four you're gonna okay higher but of course i know to go lower but you've got to remember that it's not like we can gamble out, you know, a £1 or a £2 win on a modern fruit machine to a jackpot of £100 or 70 quid as it was previously or whatever. We can only gamble this out to a £3 repeater that, of course, doesn't have to repeat. There's absolutely no requirement for this machine to give any repeats whatsoever. So let's put another 4 quid in and that'll take me up to a tenner. Oh, there we are. So we can get it again. I'm slightly surprised that this is still throwing. Well, there we are. Higher or lower than a 10. Got to remember that the reel would look like as it does on the left-hand side. When it goes completely dark like that. And we don't know what's in there. But, of course, I know to go higher than that 10. If it was being an absolute arse, it could have put a 12 in. could go 10, 11, 12 if it wanted to. So there is another 3 quid. Oh, I'm not surprised. I'd be very, very surprised if it actually chucks in any repeats. I, mean, I think we are 
about even at this moment. Oh, there we are. So there we are. So one pound win. And of course, I am going to be a so higher or lower than seven five. I am now going to be able to gamble this out to a three pound repeater. What's it gone for there? It's gone for an eight. It's been a lot of middle numbers here, isn't it? Oh, there, so we'll go higher than the eight to a ten. That's fairly straightforward. I think you'd do that anyway. I mean, a one. If it really wanted to mug you off, the obvious choice there would be to put a one in when you've got a two. Let's have a look. Any chance of a repeat? No. So I am slightly ahead at this point. What I think I'll do is... Well, that's an optimistic hold, isn't it? Oh, my God! Jesus! Well, I don't know about you, but I was not expecting it to offer a hold after nudges for six quid. We'll have it, though. I mean, I don't know. I mean, conceptually, it's possible it maintains... I mean, it seems unlikely on such an old machine, but it maintains separate pots for different wins. So, like, a jackpot on the reels could come round out of a separate pot from high-low gambles to the repeater or something like that. I really don't know. As I've said many times before, th these were from my bad old days when I just got rinsed all the time. I had no idea about any of the machi these machines whatsoever. I really didn't. So, I, I'm, I'm genuinely kind of testing this theory for myself, because I have no idea, no idea whatsoever, why Ace chipped this out, and why they didn't decide to stick with the fair play reel. It may just be as simple as, they knew some people were dicking around with torches, as hard as it was to believe. And it was felt that that was, you know, some people had an unfair advantage where, you know, normal punts. I mean, certainly me and my mates, we, we, we were, as you can imagine, we were peering into the box and trying to see if we could get any clue of what was in there or anything like that, as I guess everyone did. But but we couldn't find any way to, to work out what was on, on that high-low reel, and we certainly weren't going to start flashing torches at the bloody machine in the pub. So we were just taking a guess at it. We, we were just going to go in and we did try i do remember that that we did try to do the thing where okay we're quite high up it's shown as a three maybe it'll put a cheeky two or a one in there something like that but we never got on top of them we we, we never kind of worked out any kind of system or anything like that and it does remain something of a curiosity this this whole fair play real thing that as far as i'm aware only ace did they did it for a short period of time, and then not only did they drop it from future machines, that they, they never did it again, as far as I'm aware. They also went to the trouble to rechip machines that were already out on site to remove this whole fair play, high low reel gamble concept, and it was just wiped from the face of the earth. Now, after a reasonable start here, this has this gone a little bit nasty now, hasn't it? I mean, obviously, we're just going to go for the smallest wins on, on holds after nudges. We're going to go for the least ambitious things possible because we, we're... Really? Is that going to go to... Okay, that's quite nice, isn't it? So, I think we're going to win on this. I mean, this machine is... Oh, crikey, O'Reilly. This machine is starting to get way over percentage. No repeat again. So, I mean, we've done fairly well here. But, I mean, this, this should be starting to, to clamp up fairly short. I mean, what I'll do is take it out to a 30 quid bank. I'll cry. Oh, there, and that'll be it, because, of course, we can't lose now. So we'll go low to a 5. High to a 6. And then just one more for another 3 quid. Lower to a 3. And there's our 30 quid. With no repeat. So let's collect that out. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay, well, we'll have another one. And then we'll see. So this is going to be at least... Th Ooh, there's a cheeky one. This will be at least, of course, 33 quid. So we've done okay on this. But what I'm going to do now is collect this 33 quid out. We'll have a look at what the stats are thus far. And then I'll load the machine back in. So we'll get uh, a new set of per session stats. Okay, and I'll put... Oh, there we are. So that is the bank limit. So 30 quid is the bank limit. I'll, I'll put a token in just to get our repeat. No repeat. 
So let's collect that out and we'll see what the stats are for this first block of the bank limit. Although I did go over it slightly and we got 33 quid on this occasion. So I'll collect all this out. We will let the meter settle down, but it's going to be 33 out for £17.20 in. And there's the results on the first block. It is indeed £33 out, £17.20 in. We've made £15.80 profit. And that's a payout of 192%. So I'm going to load this machine back in. Obviously the RAM file will carry over so the machine will be in the state that it is now. Let's see if we do quite so well getting it out to the bank limit on the next stretch. So here we are back in. Let's just have a quick look at the long-term stats. And as you can see, this thing is now paying out at 99%. It's way over. So I would really expect this thing to clam up on the next push out to the bank limit. I mean, I guess we do have a very generous payout here. You're going to be hard pushed to ever find an AWP set to 92% in the wild. Although I do remember a couple of arcades in Manchester in the early 90s toying with 90% payouts. They made a big fuss about it. They put massive signs up outside and like all the machines had signage on top of them saying this machine pays out at 90%. So I guess it has happened, but again, a little bit like the Fair Play Reel itself, that was a little bit of a short-lived experiment. I don't know if it, it didn't kind of pay for itself. I guess the idea would be that it would bring more players in or people would play more, but I, I guess that the profit numbers didn't work out and it, because they reverted, or certainly all the signage went down, and I guess they reverted to whatever payouts they were on before that. So... Yeah, I mean, 90% has happened in arcades in the past, but it was a long time ago, and it was only a short-lived experiment. It never really seemed to uh, find any sort of long-term success. So what I'm going to do here now is run this out to the next £30 bank. My personal guess here is that this machine will just clamp up because it's fairly easy for it to do that. We, we were only guaranteed £3 on any single high-low climb, and that would lean towards, it would then lean towards, if this wasn't a full empty, it would simply lean towards Ace decided to change the behaviour back because the feedback that they were getting from players or from sites where these machines were, were placed in arcades and in pubs was that people, I don't know, just didn't like the fair play real. Maybe there were indeed some incredibly bold people going around with torches and shining them into the machine and, and they could potentially leave the machine deader than it should be because if, if you could sort of take all the value out of the machine by being able to gamble any win up to the three pound repeater i guess that that would make it a fairly grim prospect for anyone who was following in your wake so so maybe ace just decided to revert to the old-fashioned high low oh my god i can't believe that's fucking held because it the, the overall feedback and the reception to it just wasn't that great I mean, I am really, really surprised. I've got to say that I am really, really surprised that this thing is holding after nudges or anything. I mean, it's. I mean, the other theory is that would a machine this old have different pots going on? But maybe it, it controls its percentage in several different ways, and it doesn't control the incidence of wins on the reels as tightly as it should do because it doesn't expect that every single win is going to be gambled out to the three pound repeater and maybe there is some semi-random aspect to the repeater itself so sometimes the repeater repeats even when it doesn't want to i mean as i understand it and I could be wrong on this, and I'm happy to be corrected, but as I under... Oh, look at that. There's a nasty one. I think a repeater, any kind of repeater, has to statistically have a chance of actually repeating 
for it to be legal. If a repeat chance has a zero chance of repeating, i.e. It will, it will not repeat, if, if there's something in the machine that says, I am not going to repeat, then that may fall afoul of the legislation, something like that. So maybe you will get the, the odd repeat. Once you gamble out the win that it never thought anyone would gamble out, it will then potentially repeat sometimes when it didn't want to repeat and maybe doing it like that you can take the machine over the top percentage wise why is it just dropping in bloody three pound on that is quite surprised oh fuck it <laughs> well let's just keep doing this because you know what a little bit like the super multi nudge video is once you know that the first couple of cycles that i did on that didn't convince anyone and they were like, no, 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 this this is not an empty, you've got it all wrong. So I did the follow-up videos on this and said, look, you really can just keep going around like this forever and ever, and it will never stop paying. And at that point, people were like, okay, fair enough, it's an empty. So the, the, the proof will be in the pudding, as it were. If I can, can keep consistently taking this thing out to the £30 bank limit by the fact that I can gamble any win to the three pound repeater and if i can do that three or four times then we would start to say well actually you know what it's it's possible that this is an empty and then maybe that is why ace removed it from the machine my my mind is open my personal suspicion is that it wasn't a full empty but i am happy to prove myself wrong with this little experiment here so we're going to go lower than the six out to three quid and let's see where we no repeat on that one which is not surprising and what i may do at this point by the way is i may just pause the video because i think as ever with these videos I, I do have a habit of waffling on and i'm sure we all fully understand what it is that's going on here so what i'll do is pause the video and bring this one back when i get out to a 30 pound bank but as you can see there, I am now more in than I've got in the bank. So it, it may well be that there isn't a profit to be made on this one. Right, this is now going to take me up to the um, forty pound, uh, th th £30 bank limit. It did just do a really, really dicky one where it was bouncing around between 9 and 12, like 10 to an 11 and that kind of thing. It really didn't want me to get to the top, but... We have now done it, and that has taken me out to the £30 bank limit. But as you can see, it's cost me 27 However, of course, that will still push the machine a little bit more over percentage. So that's now going to be £30 out for £27 pounds in and i think that might just tip this machine over a 100 percent payout i'll load it back in and see where we're at so there are our long-term stats on this machine now it's running at 99.81 percent so just a whisker away from a 100 percent payout on an awp and remember this is set to 92 percent so what I'm going to do now is try and climb it out to the £30 bank again and see how much it costs. It's still dropping wins in. So let's climb that out to the top. And yeah, like I say, if this goes on for long enough, if I can consistently keep getting £30 banks out for less than £30 in, then we're going to say, well, you know what? There's, there is something going on here. Maybe there is. I really don't know. We'll go higher than that eight there. Let's get out to the repeater. See if it repeats. I'd be very surprised if it does. Okay, then I will bring you back when this bank is climbing out to £30 once again. Well, amazingly, it has done it again. It's being dirty, though. Higher or lower than a 2 to a 1. It also did a 4-3-2 before. So that was higher or lower than a 4, it went to a 3. Higher or lower than a 3, it then went to a 2. It, it's really been dirty about these numbers now. It kind of doesn't want me to be winning these gambles, but I'm almost getting the feeling that it just doesn't control 
the wins too well. Like, it's almost like it's, oh, you've got to give the player something every three quid or something like that. With So there you go, that's 30 quid. I've hit the £30 bank limit. We'll put a token in for the repeat. No repeat. So that's another 30 quid out, and that was for £20 and 20 pence in. So that is another profitable climb. The rest of the machine now does seem to have clamped up. It's not doing the kind of nicest things that it was doing before, but nonetheless, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm purely hypothesizing here. I do not know. I'm not trying to pretend that I knew this stuff back in the day or anything like that. I am simply testing my own little theory here. What if you could guess the number correctly every time that was in the fair play high low gamble reel could you empty this thing could you just keep winning consistently or would the machine control its percentage well enough by simply not giving you any wins until it had got itself on the right side of its percentage and the evidence at the moment would suggest that it doesn't and that's nine pound eighty profit on that run a hundred and forty eight percent payout this machine is going to be over 100 percent payout now so even on a very generous payout of 92 percent which is what it's set to it should surely be in clawback mode now so what i'm going to do is reload this back in and we're going to take it out to the bank limit again and see how much it costs so here we are loaded back in Long-term stats now at 102% payout. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again and take this out to the £30 bank limit and see how much it costs me. And I mean, what I will say here is it's, it's pretty much clamming up in, in many ways. It, it's certainly not dropping in like £3 or easy uh, £6 opportunities, anything like that. It did just drop in double bars there. As you can see though, it's been a real, real dick with the numbers. I would have to be going against the numbers, against my instinct an awful lot of the time to be winning these. It is dropping in the very, very occasional three pound repeat i can't remember the last time i actually had six quid out of it but i'm, I'm almost starting now to, to to think that it may well be that ace thought that they had or the, the programmers thought that they had protected this well enough with the fair play real concept where you know what we're always we're always going to offer them wins of a pound or one pound twenty or whatever uh, we, we can make the machine give, you know, really difficult number choices. No one's going to be able to climb it out consistently to the £3 repeater, so we don't have to worry about protecting small wins too well. I don't know, it's just my theory at the moment, but, I mean, this is now the fourth run-through. If I make another profit, because this will be the fourth lot of a £30 bank, you're almost getting into the territory there where you'd say, hmm, may, maybe there is something in this after all. My, my mind is fairly open on this. I will, I'll certainly see out the fourth one. I'll see out a fifth one as well. If I can do five straight climbs to the bank limit of 30 quid and make a profit on every single climb to that 30 pound bank limit, I would then be prepared to say, with some degree of confidence that there's something going on here and that maybe that was the reason after all why ace got rid of the fair play reel but there's nothing stopping it it could see but it just it just keeps doing this it's like why wouldn't i drop in a win of a quid because if you've played this machine normally by the way an awful lot of these features, that it, they're kind of all those features where it pays what it wants and it can give you absolutely arsey wins if it wants to. So, you know, you've got 120, 140, 160, you've got a load of features that don't really have to pay anything. And I'm, I'm kind of getting the vibe here that the machine just doesn't protect these low wins. And it's like, okay, you know what, every few quid, every two or three or four pounds, 
we're going to give the player a win opportunity, even with the, the fair play reel in, in place, because we don't have to worry about people guessing correctly with that degree of consistency. I don't know. I do not know the answer to that. But let's see where we get up to on this £30 bank climb. Well, it's definitely not happy on this one. Nothing's repeated. Every single one has been a climb out from £1 or £1.20. It is being an absolute dick with the numbers. It like was bouncing around 5, 6, 7 and 8. And then wanted a higher than an 8 for the last gamble. That kind of thing. And even so, I'm not sure I'm going to win on this one. Because, no, it stopped holding. It, it has clammed up. It has significantly clammed up i'm now 27 in you can see up there oh there we are right okay this is going to be borderline obviously this is another three quid i'm so i'm not expecting a repeat but it yeah it's definitely tightened up but at the same time i'm, I'm not going to be down much on this climb either so there's another three quid i mean i only need a three pound repeat here and this will actually be a profit on this climb no, it, it's just, you know what, it has just stopped repeating now. So you can just see up there, that's 28 in. Oh, and there you go. That's going to be it, though. It is going to be another profit. I mean, this machine, it's obvious, because it's a compensated AWP, and it is trying to compensate hard now. But there seems to be something in here where, one way or another, it just has to keep offering the player wins and you can see that that was a marginal one there we are so that was tight that was really really tight you can see there are no token wins the token wins have stopped completely now it's just time after time it's it's a small win you know like one pound one pound twenty one pound forty gambling it out to three quid across all kinds of horrible numbers it stopped repeating but it just can't stop itself offering the wins on a regular enough basis that even now this is the fourth time now that i have taken this out to the bank limit and i have won every single time so let's get the stats on that climb so there are the stats on climb number four it was 30 pound out for 28 pound in so only two pound profit and that was a payout of 107%. But you've got to be saying here, I mean, if you've ever played fruit machines in anger, and certainly these old fruit machines, could you really expect to take one of these machines out to the £30 bank limit four times on the trot and make a profit every single time? I'm starting to say the answer is most likely no. We'll do it one more time. We'll do a fifth push because this machine was playing nasty as you like. On that last one, it made really, really hard work of it. So it is compensating. It does seem to know it's over percentage. So I'm going to be interested to see what it does on push number five. And here are the stats as we start. The machine is now at a 102.39% return to player so it's over 10 percent out it we owe the machine money now we owe this machine some cash you can see there it's got a drift of nearly 50 pounds so it should really be wanting to claw back from us now i'm just going to do exactly the same thing again and take this thing out to the 30 pound bank limit let's get some per session stats let's see how this one goes i'm going to be really really interested to see if I can win on this one, I'm half thinking that this one might be a loss, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, the mood of this machine is definitely now really sour. I cannot remember the last time I had a token win. I can't remember the last time I had any kind of repeat on anything. In fact, it's all just begrudging one pound wins that the machine is somehow somewhere in its code kind of obligated to provide it clearly doesn't want to do anything it's been an absolute pig and yet i'm just about 
keeping up with it. So it's it definitely knows it's paying out. These, these are not free wins or anything like that. I mean, it stopped holding after nudges a long time ago for absolutely anything. But what it's sometimes just doing, once in a while... Oh, there we are. There's a hole after nudges. It's just dropping in a line or it's dropping in cherries or something like that. But actually, it, it's just small wins that it's reluctantly doing. And because I can gamble every single one of them out to them, to the three pound repeater, the poor thing just doesn't seem to be able to get back on track. You can see there that I'm 15 quid in for 15 pound in the bank. So... It's definitely trying to cling on for dear life. I mean, I would peg this. If I had to call this now, I would say it's not a full empty. But if you can see the high-low reel, if you can read the high-low reel on this, or if you were crazy enough to go around the pubs with a fucking torch in the early 90s and shine it into the machines, then you would certainly... I, I would say you will certainly have... A large edge on this machine against everyone else I've, this is the first time by the way that I've played this layout like this I did put a fair few quid through it once but when Ploggy originally released it back in 2012 and yeah that the, the high-low reel can play an absolute dick with you when you don't know what's in there it's fairly easy for it to send you in the wrong direction and you will lose the gamble the features, to my mind, are mostly a bag of shit. It'll just kind of give you what it wants to give you. So unless you get into the top to the repeater, the machine is fairly well in control. But what it loses control of here is if you can see what's on the high-low reel, you then take the edge over the machine because it doesn't protect, to my mind, it doesn't protect small wins as well as it should do because it assumes that you're not going to be able to gamble them out to the three pound repeater every single time but it has now I and mean, it's completely stopped repeating you can see how many dead spins i'm getting here i will probably now record this one out in real time and we'll take this one out to the bank limit i think this will probably be a loss on this one and i guess if you're one of the people who could actually oh, there we are that that's that kind of one pound thing that it throws in once in a while and then of course you can take it out to the three quid my feeling is that this if if you were doing these back in the day and you could one way or another you knew what was in the reel i think you could probably read the happiness of the machine i think even just from watching this video it will be fairly obvious to you that this machine is a lot lot less happy than when i started playing it and i guess you'd make a judgment call as to what kind of mood it was in and how much you wanted to push it a little bit like i suppose in in the modern day reading an alien you know, you could tell with an alien how sometimes it just about had one in it, whereas sometimes you thought, you know what, this is going to have maybe an, a, a comfortable two or three or even four in it, something like that. And I think the mood of this machine here is, to be honest with you, fairly transparent. And I think it's now, I would say that this machine is at absolute minimum happiness. You can see how dismally it's playing here. I mean... This would have been a fairly awful proposition if you came up to the machine in this state back in the day. I don't think I've even got, I haven't even got mix sevens there. No, it's you know what I think it is now in maximum clawback mode. I think it's in maximum compensation mode. It has got so far over the top now that it has finally decided to stop offering wins completely. Oh, there we are. So that that you see what I mean. It's just like every so often, like every, maybe even every five, it's like, okay, we've got to give the player a quid. We'll give them a one pound win. There's no way. We don't have to worry about it too much. It's not like it's a three pound repeater, except, of course, it is. But I don't think I'm going to win on this. I, I, it's going to be very, very hard to make a profit on this climb now. Unless this actually goes nuts and repeats, I think this will be the first loss. So there's our three quid. So we're 21 in the banner. Uh, 20. So I'm 30 quid in. You can see my per session stats up at the top there. I think it's finally had enough. And say, you know what? You're not having anything. You're not having any wins at all now. 
I need to claw back my percentage. The code has finally decided, right, I need to go into absolute lockdown mode here. And it's doing absolutely nothing whatsoever. And this will be a loss. So, I, yeah, oh, well, there you go. But then again, it's just draw. It's, it's not going to be a terrible loss. I can't, you know, and it'd be hilarious if I can actually get out to uh, 30 quid for 30 quid in. But I don't think it's going to happen. The, the run number four was bad enough, but run number five here has been absolutely horrible. This machine has been playing truly, truly dreadfully. It really has. So let's just take that out to three quid. So where are we at? Ooh, 24. No, I did a sort of, You know what? It's a long, long time since I've seen anything other than no on that. Shall we... Okay, I'm I'm six pound down. I've, I'm thirty in, so obviously the bank limit is thirty. So I'm now kind of six pound off the pace on that because I'm thirty in and I've only got a bank of twenty four. Let's just see how much it'll cost just to get that thirty pound bank. But I guess if you were doing these back in the day, if that was a thing, I think this is. The point at which you say, right, you know what, somebody else has been around here with a, <laughs> with a large floodlight about their person and has been shining it into the bowels of the machine and has already taken all the value out. I think what you can do here, in fact, let's crystallise this. I think what you can do, if you could read the reel on this, as I am doing here, I think you can basically extract all the value from the machine every last drop of value from whatever pots it's got going on or anything like that i mean there's been no jackpot win on this no token win on this for a very very long time so there it's a begrudging one pound 40. so that's what i think this is if you could read the high low reel it gives you the ability to extract all the value from the machine but it's not an emptier it's not a free win. It just gives you a advantageous way to take all the value out of the machine that it has in it. You see there, I'm... Um, well, let's take it out to the... We did say that we take it out to the bank limits. Oh, there we are. That, that'll do it. So it has dropped a quid in. So, I mean, it's not a disaster. I mean, I'm going to be 36 in for 30 out. And do remember that this machine was slightly over percentage when I started as well. So we wouldn't be expecting, I mean, even after this last run here where I have lost, nonetheless, I'm going to be in profit overall. No, no repeats coming on this thing whatsoever at all. Last win, maybe. Okay. Oh, oh. One pound win, that's going to be another three quid. A little bit of a save there. So we'll take that out to three quid. What I will do is just put a single token in for the repeat. And then so the stats on this one, they're not actually going to be that bad. I'm going to have lost like two pound or three pound, something like that. It's not going to be too bad. So there's definitely something fishy going on with this. You can certainly mess with the machine if you can always see what number that you've got to gamble on. So that's 33 out. We'll put a token in for this repeat, which is not going to happen, let's be honest. Let's collect that out, and then we'll have a look at what the stats are. And there they are. I mean, the machine has scarcely clawed back a few pennies because it's paid out for... £36.20 in and £33 out is paid out at 91.16%. Remember, it's at 92%. We have lost £3.20, but the machine's overall payout is still sat above 100%. It's sat at 101.57%. And my overall stats for those five pushes out to the bank limit are... £26.60 in profit. It hasn't really taken me that long to do either because you're playing it in a very 
no nonsense format you just any win you gamble straight out to the three pound repeater and that's it you're not mucking about with features there's nothing fancy going on i mean i've been playing the machine for about an hour and a half give or take but you know 26 pound 60 in the early 90s for an hour and a half that wouldn't have been too bad and do bear in mind that this was on a machine that was already a bit over percentage to start with so on a machine that was in a, uh, on a more level playing field when you got to it, you can imagine doing better than that. So I want to call it not an emptier, not free wins. It still compensates itself. It knows when it's getting really far behind and it will do its best to save itself to the extent that you can finally lose on it, even when you know what's behind that fair play reel all the time. I'm going to call this one as a very good way to extract every last drop of value that this machine had in it and against that backdrop it would make sense for ace to call time on the whole fair play high low reel because if there were a few people going around leaving machines in the state that this one's going to be in now can you imagine playing this machine now as a casual punter it's way over percentage it's got no value in it whatsoever you're going to have a miserable time so Maybe against that backdrop, Ace thought, you know what, this whole fair play reel thing will drop the idea. We're not too happy with it. That's just my theory, that's all. And the whole thing came about from this thread over at Desert Island Fruits. Uh, Pooks Globe Trotter DX, work in progress. Little bit of chat about the uh, the fair play high low reel. And I was like, ooh, that, that's given me an idea now. Let's just see what happens on these old machines when you could kind of cheat the fair play high low reel as it were but there you go i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and indeed hope to see you next time but for now goodbye